we need to find the IUPAC name of this molecule. So let's, because it's given in condensed formula, let's quickly go expand it a little bit. So I just start on the left hand side. So the first one is a CH3. So a CH3 would just look like that. Okay, then they say there's a CH, okay, and then another CH. Okay, so that's quite weird. So that's a CH and then another CH. Okay, so there's probably going to be like a double bond or a triple bond maybe just to fix everything up over there. But don't worry, we'll come back to that. Then there is a C connected to a BR and an H. So that would be like something like that. And then there's a CH3. Okay, now notice that this carbon and this carbon only have three bonds. So we can fix that by putting a double bond. Sometimes they'll actually show you the double bond over there. They'll do something like this. They'll say um, CH, CH. That, that is sometimes shown um, in certain textbooks. So your teacher might do it like that, but they also sometimes show it like that without showing the double bond. Okay, so there we go. Now we need to come up with the name for this thing. So we're gonna label it from the left. The reason is, is that the functional group is this double bond. So we're gonna label it from the side that gives the functional group its lowest number. So the longest continuous chain would be one, two, three, four, five. So that's five carbons. So that's gonna be pent. Okay, then the branches would be the bromine. So that's on carbon one, two, three, four. So that's gonna be on carbon four, there is a bromo, okay? And then for, 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 for pentene, or sorry, for alkenes is what I was trying to say, um, we'll say that on carbon number two, there is a double bond. So for bromo, pent, two ene. 